Welcome to another episode of Naomi House at Heather's Treasures. I got the front panel glued on and I taped it. Um, I think the front will be okay with foam board as these four uh, conjoining walls, I think that's the right word, are going to be wood. And I've got these panels right here and I've cut them nine and a half by ten. As you can see, the house frame, the, the kit, or the, the, the original house wall, is warped as well. So I think that's why the foam board is warping. But I've got two braces, I've got two pieces of wood and I've got it clamped, straightening this wall. And I'm going to put my, I'm going to glue my board in. And then I'm going to clamp it again up here to keep everything nice and straight. Hopefully that will fix that. So that's all I'm going to do is just glue the four boards as, until I run out of clamps. And then I'll have to let it dry and start over. Okay, well that's drying. I've got three walls up and I've got three hinges here made out of fabric and Mod Podge 
and we're going to flip them over and put a second coat on the other side. Any kind of Mod Podge will work just fine. Oh, I lost my lid. I want these to be nice and flexible. I don't know how many times the door is going to open and shut, but I'm hoping this will be all right. I don't have any of those cute little door hinges that I've seen other video YouTubers use. I've seen people use duct tape, and I thought, there might be a reason why I've never seen anybody use fabric in Mod Podge, but I, I don't know what it might be other than the fact that it might tear eventually. So the door's going to sit like this with the number house numbers facing out and I'm going to put what, three hinges on. In the meantime, we'll give that a few seconds to dry and I'll show you what I did with my uh, round dowels. Now. Here it is. Here's one, nice and cut. It's nice and straight, and I've already stained it. I've got a bunch of them already. Hopefully, I have enough already stained that I can do all of the windows with that pile. But I wanted to give you a hint. If you have a bandsaw and you want to cut something round, you're never going to be able to do it by hand. You have to do something like this. You take a glue stick and you glue it down to a square piece so that when you lay it flat on the, the platform of the bandsaw you can run it right along and then it will keep this from spinning on you, the round dowel from spinning and you'll get a straight cut every time. So that's what I had done and now all we have to do is, this side is is good but now all we have to do is just get the, um, get it, the glue off. I get started here. And just very carefully pull it away. You might be able to heat it. And I may have gone overboard on the glue. I don't know. I always do that. I'm just going to take my knife cut through that glue. I don't want to risk breaking my dowel. There we go. Well, I split it a little bit, but you know, that's okay. That's going to add character to a frame. So you can see, I went, I went the whole length. I think if you just did like three dabs, it would be fine. And then you just have to hold it there until it sets up and then you're good to go. So what's going to happen is this is going to get glued like that. let that dry then we'll apply glue to this side I think we're gonna be good all except for that center piece it's overhanging so I'm just gonna go in and trim off just a hair let's look at this 
I've got to create the rest of my wall outside front wall and then I can glue my other wall here. We're going to put glue on these three tabs. Moment of truth. I did do a dry fit and the door does fit. Okay, the door is done. These are my window casing, window trim, window casing. I don't know the right word for it. So it's gonna go around the inside of the window. cardboard here and here's my coffee thirsted and I don't like to measure so what I'm going to do is hold the camera I'm going to hold this up to the windows and I'm going to trace the inside line see this tape right here this is non-stick uh, tread tape for stairs. I just got one inch wide and I put it on the back of my ruler so that it won't slide around on me.
If I'd have been thinking, I could be working on another window. That's all right. We'll be back when this is dry so I can glue the other side. Well, I don't know where my camera shut off. I'm gonna go check. Okay guys, I am sorry. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. But what I did was I pushed the window into the frame, this part right here, just the window part. And I got it flush with the inside wall. And I, I glued all the way around it and then I smashed it in and then I took my dowels and I cut the vertical pieces first just short of the window casing so that when I glued it on it would touch the window and glue that add glue to it we look at my dirty fingers and then I cut these a little bit longer and then I glued them down so that they would touch the window casing and I did that right there to this one on this I put a little masking tape on to try to hold that up against the wall. I'm not sure. My, yeah, my clothespins aren't big enough. If it's not, I'll go back in and I'll touch it up. Oh, sorry, camera's going. But anyways, my kitchen windows are done. Next week, I have to tackle the cabinets. I can't stall any longer. <laughs> I've got to get them done. I've got to get them done. Dang it. But anyway, if if when I do the other two windows, I will uh, try to throw them in for the next video. But anyway, thank you guys so much for your support. I really appreciate you stopping in and watching. And oh, we're almost to 2,500, guys. So we're going to have a giveaway when we do. So like and subscribe. Share the video with your friends that um, are crafty, love to do DIY things. And so that they can subscribe. Fun, fun, fun. We'll see you next week. Love you. Bye-bye.